happy new year! It's the new year vlog. I'm Felicia Day and this is my show. Welcome. I hope you had a great holiday and you got lots of cool stuff. Not that I want to encourage materialism, but hey, I got this small bowl. <gasps> or is it a big cup? It's a big cup! Oh, and yes, high five for surviving the Mayan apocalypse, or as some people like to call it, the alpacalypse which is not accurate because the alpacas live in South America where the Incans were. I vacationed in Belize and I know very much about it because I've read 15 books because that's what I do on vacation, read about the places I go to, which is not a vacation anyway. <laughs> I need a vacation. Let's do a trio mio. Number one this week is a website called futureme.org where you can go and send emails into the future. How cool is this thing? You type up anything you want your future self to do or remember, and you can schedule it when you want it to arrive. I think it's perfect for keeping up on New Year's resolutions. I made one a few minutes before New Year's Eve this year, and I scheduled it to arrive now. <laughs> Let's see what I wrote. Dear Fallokia, uh, this is for flogs. You should not tell people's pepper war cheese, and there's falling. By the way, I left $5 in your bra. I might have had some champagne on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Number two is two websites to help get your shit together. Let's all be honest here. We all have a whole list of resolutions that we're never gonna live up to. I mean, I have had learned Chinese on my list for maybe 10 years now. And what do I have to show for it? Dim sum. I don't know. That's all I've got. But these two websites will definitely help you keep on track. Lifehacker.com and dumblittleman.com. Every time one of their articles pops up in my RSS feeder, I read it, I feel good about myself, and I generally move on not doing anything active about it. But hey, productivity is on the heart, right? And to counterbalance all these wonderfully productive trio mios is our third choice, Bloons Tower Defense 5. It's a tower defense game that features monkeys that you place along a winding track. Each monkey acts like a turret, blowing blow darts at balloons. And as you go along, you level up your monkeys, you get more and more special abilities as the balloons get tougher and tougher to pop. And I have a theory, tower defense helps your brain work better. If you have any scientific evidence countering that, do not share it with me. All right, our first segment of the year involves, well, you guessed it, goat nipples. So it's sunrise, I'm in the Mojave Desert, and I'm gonna go learn how to milk a goat. Oh, it's cold. God, I hope I'm get my shoes pooped on. Tell me a little bit about this farm and what you do. Um, we started the herd. We, we, we now do goat's cheese. We milk our goats. We make our cheese. We make goat yogurt. So how many kinds of breeds of goat do you we have We have La Mancha, Nubian, Alpine, Oberhasli, and Sarnen. And how many goats do you have now? Um, in total, just about 340. And how many mil do you milk? We're milking about 100 at the moment, roughly. Every day? Yes, yes. Okay, what is this? This is our pasteurizer, our expensive pasteurizer. This, yeah. this costs about $20,000, $23,000. Are you kidding? Yeah. The milk from the goats comes into here, uh -huh. and then we pasteurize the milk in here. It has to be above 145 degrees. We, we, okay, so we heat it up. We heat it up. We curd it we out. Then, we then form the curd yes. in the buckets. In the buckets, yep. okay. Then when it's formed, we put it into the nets to drain it. Okay, there, yes. Yep. And, then and then it's this. This is the cheese. And then I spread this on crackers at an expensive Absolutely. restaurant, right? That's right. I, this I'm is an unsalted curd. Okay. This is basic, but this is cheese. Basic cheese curd. Mm. Oh, it's so good! We don't need to do anything. I don't need to milk anything. I just need to eat your food. Okay, well, I think it's time for me to stop eating and maybe start a milking. Okay, let's get You ready? See. All right, let's go. Yep, we'll see where the goats are. No, it's Gwenny. That's Gwen. That's ah. Gwen. Oh, okay. Okay, who else is coming? Okay. That one's ready. There we go. Am I doing this? Okay. Uh, guys, I'm gonna do something. Ooh, this is the first nipple I have ever touched on a goat. Oh boy. Okay, is that good enough? 
Yeah, sign it really I'm clean. Oh, uh, it's okay. There. Okay, all right. There you sit. Sorry, sir. And then the trick okay. is trying to get some milk. Okay. <laughs> I have to get some milk out of one of these. Like. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Don't pull it. What yeah. you do is squeeze it. Okay. So rolling. Squeeze. Use those two. Oh, oh, there that's you a... go. There you oh, go. Oh, did you see that? Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> wow. This is an amazing feeling. <laughs> rolling. Oh. There you go. Oh my God. This is amazing. Ethel. Hey. Look at this, guys. Three, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Three fingers. Three fingers. I want to do this every morning. This is very intimate. Very intimate feeling. Okay, she's white. Put these on the their nipples. Yeah. You oh. put that on the teeth first. Okay. Okay. That's it. Oh, 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 sorry. That's right. Okay. And then turn the valve on. There you go. Oh. You feel you felt it grab. That is quite the sensation. Oh gosh, it's hanging there. That is, it's like a bad piercing, right? They have to feel comfortable yes. around us and It'll... how we're handling them mm -hmm. and what we do for them. Yeah. Well, they all feel like they, they're happy. I mean, they all just come okay. up involuntarily. Yeah. Look at them. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> what is that noise? Just what is vacuum. that noise? That's just the vacuum, the air being squeezed around the seat. That was the weirdest noise. It was like, it was, the nipples were laughing at me. <laughs> Take it off the seat slowly. Uh, is, it, it. is it halfway? Is halfway, it right? Halfway, yeah, yeah. It's still very... It'll break, it'll break. Ooh, oh. <laughs> I touched your nipple, I'm sorry. So I just dip it. Just dip it, it, yeah. Like ink. Yep, yep. Gonna dip a nipple just like ink. This. Yep. And then I dip it. Dip it right up. Like that? Yep. Oh. There you go. And dip this? Yep. Hello. Good morning. Well, Julian, thank you. That was some most fun with nipples I've ever had. Uh, thank you to you and Carol for allowing me to visit Solidar yeah, Farm. I enjoyed it. We and really uh, enjoyed it. yeah, I have to say that I'm. I'm I'm so impressed with how happy your goats are. Yeah, thank you. So thank you. I will never eat goat cheese and not appreciate it in my mouth again. That sounded weird. <laughs> anyway, uh, I appreciate what you do very much now. Good, good. So thank you well, very much. Thank you. OK, I'll see you later. Bye. And our question of this week comes from Cassie, who asks, what were your New Year's resolutions and have you kept them up? Hmm. Dear Cassie, this year I've decided only to have two resolutions. One, stop watching so many cat videos on YouTube. Two, stop watching so many hedgehog videos on YouTube. As for the last part of your question, no, I was doing fine until I accidentally saw that video of Grumpy Cat getting his tummy rubbed. Why did they have to post that? I won him. No. Hopelessly. Felicia Day. Hey Cassie, your letter's on its way. All right, public service announcement. I'm gonna be traveling. I have some cool secret projects I'm working on, so I'm not gonna be doing these vlog wrappers for a few months, but, Hold your horses. You're still gonna get an amazing segment every Monday that you will enjoy. So I hope you stay tuned. Also, we have a new show launching next week called Learning Town. The trailer is right here, you can click on it. It's a musical that features puppets and very funny people. So I hope you tune in next Wednesday, the 15th, for the premiere. All right, I hope you subscribe and enjoy. I will see you next time. Bye!